Alrighty. So, where are we at here? That's the wrong button. Amarillo is making us a lot of money. We have three drivers there now. We just picked up, uh, what is her name? Simona. I'm not sure she is currently doing anything yet. Nope. So, oh, she is. Frozen vegetables. Hasn't made us any money yet. She's done in eight hours. We're sitting in Cheyenne. Got 36000 and a loan of... 411,000. So, we have 78,000 left to repay here. This is our big one. And 100, almost 100,000 left on that one. That's one we just got, really. Okay. So, we got a ton of upgrades for the Kenworth, Peterbilt, all that. And our trailer. I say let's just get into it. She a nice long one. Cheyenne to Houston, Texas. Sixty-seven dollars uh, and seventy-eight cents a mile. It'll be sixty-one thousand three hundred and seventy-seven dollars to transport this log harvester. Now that'll get us down next to Louisiana. I think that might be the way that we go. Down through Colorado, New Mexico, into Texas, and yeah, we're going to go right through Amarillo, too, which is beautiful. We haven't been back home for a while. Then we'll get down to Houston. We can take Houston, ride east through Louisiana, and Mississippi, Alabama, right into Florida, and I really do want to go all the way out to Key West. I know I've said that before, we haven't made it that far, but, you know, we got our chance now, so let's do it. Alright, we need sleep, so before we do anything, that's what we're going to do. How long... How long do we have until this job is gone? Three hours. So we're going to go accept the job, and then we're going to go sleep. Yeah, we got plenty of time. And it looks like we can rest right beside where we pick up the job. So, that'll work out. Alright, 
so we'll probably want to stop for fuel. I can take it right on right here. Ooh, too far. I'm still getting used to this wheel. Yeah, I like to overcorrect it. <laughs> get fuel when I'm not loaded. Alright, so fuel up. Bit of a tight fit since we're trying to make this loop. I should probably get new tires before we go on this long trip too. if we can upgrade anything. Well, we got plenty of upgrade here. What we got? We got 6x4, 150 gal. I can do... That's a short 6x4. We can do a long 6x4, 300 gal, but... Yes, on that. That'll put us into a sleeper. What about our engine? We got 455 horsepower. We 
we just max these out as far up as we can go. I don't know if I want to go down to a six speed. It's got a lot of torque, but no way. Nah. Maybe this one. 18 speed with a retarder. That looks nice. I might do that one. We're up at 83,000. I don't really care about all that. I mean, obviously we only have 36,000 cash, so we can't do it yet, but... Man, I wish we could... What I wish you could do is save your configuration so you could go back to it later, but you can't. Alright, let's see. here. See if we can do this. Straighten her out a bit. If I gotta pull straight across in that parking lot, I will. I ain't gonna hurt nothing. What it will do is let us get out of here. Beautiful. I like a glove. We're off. Oof. Damn it, I hit the hedge. Too tight. Too tight. <laughs> I need to smarten up about that shit. I'm gonna make a wide turn here. Apparently not wide enough, god damn it. Alright, 
right, so this has got 18 hours until we get there. And we got 13 hours till we sleep. Whoop, hit the wrong button. Didn't want to slow down too much there because it is such a steep hill. down this without crashing into the walls I haven't had much luck with these clover leaves I want to upgrade to that 18 speed. I think that might help the slow that we've been having. <laughs> so, I'm not sure how much. Let's let's take a peek because we can. Where we all have the same truck, we can see how much just that would cost if we look at somebody else. That's wrong button. There we go. Yeah, so that 18 speed. Oh, really? Only six grand. So if we did that, and then we upgraded the engine here. So we could, we could afford to go all the way up to the king of the hill here. That'll get us up over hills so much easier. And that's this has been an issue. I mean, we it's pretty high, but then I don't know. But thirty-four thousand. Have to consider it. Um, and we'll leave. Do you want to 
cancel, yes. So yeah, I mean, we, we could do that. Next, after we get a little bit more money, we'll consider that. Because, look, I mean, it's 75 through here. We're going up a minor hill, and we can't get up over 46. And we're not hauling much. I mean, 48,000 pounds is not, in the grand scheme of things, the heaviest load we've ever hauled. God, I'm driving like I'm drunk. We could take a loan out for it. I, I wanted to hold off on the loan, but it's it's not that bad. And we we've got the manpower now to cover the payments. So that's the thing about loans. Like everybody's worried. Don't want to take a loan because then you got to hold the payment. But it's all about doing it smart. Just like in real life, you know. Just know your risk if you want to take a loan if you want that influx of cash you need to make sure you got enough assets to cover it and that's what we're doing here Ooh, I'm about running into this guy Sorry about that. Had to guide my daughter to go get lunch. What was I saying? Right, so it's it's all about assets. Like in this game your assets are your drivers and your you know the routes that they can take. And I've got plenty of those. So as long as you have enough assets that are earning you enough to cover the payment then take the loan. You're taking your cash up front and you're still doing jobs so you can pay it off. And as you pay it off, you know, you can hire more assets, take bigger loans. It's not wrong, it's smart, you know? You only have so many resources. Your resources, you know, in this game, your resources, your time and your money, just like in real life. So you gotta Use your time, use your money the way that you can. I mean, I should probably slow down to 65 and I'm doing 80. But I don't want to. I like going fast. But I'm loaded very heavily. And these are some sharp corners see I'm still driving with that free wheel and it says it's got forced feedback but I don't feel it so I'm thinking that's one of the things that's broken on it probably be able to drive a little bit better if it was working Planning on getting a Logitech G29, but just ain't got the money for it right this minute. I 
that'll be the day that I start to learn how to use a shifter. I do uh, the, what is it, simple automatic on here just because I, I don't have enough buttons to handle shifting for one. And if I'm going to go to manual, I'm going to need a clutch. So I'm going to hold out until I can get the Logitech with the shifter. Just like I think I looked at it today. It was just just under 300. Which is a decent amount for a wheel, especially one that is, you know, good, but I mean, that's quite a bit of money for me to put onto a game that I play for fun. So, I'm gonna hold off. Discovered fountain. All right, we got 11 hours till we have to sleep, and 16 hours till we get there. I suspect we are not going to get uh, get there before we have to rest. It's just too far, and I just can't go fast enough to knock that time down quick enough. As we are able to drive quickly and stably, I'm not even sure that's a word. There's the loan, a total of 9,416. said in the past I play these games one I like the driving but you know I'm not I play them like I play any other you know business game it's I like the career I like the business side hell I play sports games for the same reason I play NBA and uh, NFL you know Madden all those because I like to play the career modes this one is interesting to me because you get to run an empire. Once I get more expansions for Euro Truck Simulator, I'm going to probably start another series on that because I'd like to, you know, grow a career mode in the UK. Maybe not the UK, I might do Germany. But, I don't know. We'll see. I've, I bought both games the same time, and I've got over 200 hours into ATS and 7 into ETS. So, more, more uh, driving on there is required. I haven't done any driving on that with the wheel yet. In fact, I haven't played anything but ATS since I got the wheel. We are going 99 miles an hour. 
we keep that up, maybe we can get there before we have to rest. This beautiful long stretch of straight road. It's gonna trip us up here with this corner that if I keep going 99 around, I'm going to roll. Yep, we're good. I don't even remember how much this is earning us. Had to have been like 60. Yeah, 61. We're gonna pass on the right. Oh, and he's gonna cut us off because of course he is. Okay, we gotta slow down. Get more cities open. attention you know what let's let's take a look at the map uh, we can go here and upgrade but what about on our path do we pass this one there. That one would be closer. What about here? Ooh, that's even closer. What about once we get into Amarillo? It's actually further away in Amarillo. So we'll do this. We will come here. That is a bit further. Who knows? Maybe it'll leave me enough time to sleep. All right. these long stretches and just straight road NASCAR Heat 4 is either already out or is coming out soon. I'd like to do a career mode on that. I got three for the Xbox One, but my wheel is uh, PC only. So, well, it's PC and PlayStation 2. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to hold off on uh, 
NASCAR Heat 3, but maybe if I got four for the PC, maybe this wheel would do? I don't know. I'll have to look into it. <laughs> I like the long races, too. Like, I see people on, you know, YouTube that are, that play it, and they cut it down to like 4% of the race. What's the fun in that? You know? You don't get into the strategy of it at that point. Like, go to at least 50%. I know the races are long, but I mean, that's kind of the idea. It's endurance. It's making sure that you pit when you're supposed to. That you don't get hung up that I mean you you get fatigued you start making bad ideas you know bad moves it's it's all of that you go a hundred percent even on easy and you can mess up because you personally like your human body gets fatigued and you start making the wrong choices that is interesting to me through a red light. I'm gonna blow through a second one. Oh, we got caught on that one. Let's blow through a third. Ooh, doubled it that time. <laughs> I, I definitely should have stopped. I just wanted to see what would happen. these long hauls and I do like driving fast on them I know there's a certain set of people in you know that follow this game that just want to you know follow all the road you know laws of the road and do that but I, I'm I'm more about realism. I've met truckers around where I am. And if they have a stretch of road that is miles upon miles of straight and it's empty and they think they can get away with it, do you think they're going to be doing the speed limit? Fuck no. They're hitting that thing as hard as humanly possible. Uh, they'll disintegrate animals that get, get out in front of them before they slow down because they get paid by the mile. They don't get paid by the hour. They want to maximize the amount of miles that they can get in a single hour. Oop. You almost got me. Looking at the wrong light. That's my bad. And I wasn't looking at the light that time. That's my bad, too. That's why I don't text and drive, people. At least I was parked that time. <laughs> All 
our last couple trips, we've had some, let's call it somewhat creative glitches. So uh, let's see if we can not have that happen this time. So you shouldn't be going. Really? It's right there? Oh, shit. Oh. What the fuck was that? Did you put an invisible wall there, people? Come on. No? All right. So let me turn around on the dirt. That's all I want to do. That shit is way too sharp for my big ass trailer. That's what I thought. What am I doing? We're gonna do. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so we can take fifty thousand dollar loan out. Yep. And we're gonna take one, two, three, four. We're gonna make twelve thousand dollars a day. That's not going to happen. We're going to pay these back soon-ish. All right, truck upgrades. Nope, wrong button. Just kidding. If we go here, yes, it's 83. We have 120. We can afford that. I'm going to confirm. What? Yeah, I did. All right. I feel like a new man. What are you doing? What I'm doing is trying to make that corner over there. Ooh, that was beautiful. Oh, we got the green. We're going. to tell you this is going to be so much better for us. Feels so much faster already. Thirty six thousand six forty two. Which means we took out enough loans to cover pretty much all of what we just upgraded. It's not a bad thing. I 
We've got eight hours till we need to rest. We just made a thousand bucks off Pierre. Oh yeah, that's so much better. And I don't know about you, but I think we're gonna sneak around this guy. Cop is like, nah, I'm going home. I ain't, I ain't writing no ticket. That's paperwork. I ain't doing no paperwork. It's the end of my shift. truck's like, did you not just see that truck? I have a tail light out, and you, you're gonna let him go? Cop's like, yeah. I should have done those upgrades ages ago. Right, let's see how it does going up this hill. Oop. If I can, you know, focus and go up the hill. Not bad. Seven hours till we need to sleep, nine and a half until we get there. We can do this. That's plenty of time to knock a couple hours off. Oh, not gonna be knocking hours off like this. Being expensive. Shortcut.
Can I get around him? Damn. He's gonna blow us up. Right about now. Yeah, there it is. Knew that was coming. But I'm sorry, I ain't waiting for your slow ass. Especially when he keeps going the same way we are. Is this another thousand dollar speed bump? I think it is. Looks like it. And... No, it's not. Alright, we're just gonna whip around you then. God damn it, boy. You want to die today? Really? I mean, I've already blown through speed limit, so. Come on. I went through it. 91,000 pounds. <laughs> and of course, frigging cop right there. We got six and a half hours. Well, no. We got six hours. And we got seven and a half, uh, seven hours, 40 minutes to get there. Hi, cop. Mr. Highway Patrolman. How you doing? You just gonna take your corner? You do that. I'm just gonna go straight. That's all I'm doing. Gonna go straight at the speed limit. It's all good. Not speeding here, no, no, sir, not me. acceleration in this isn't all that good but she's got some pull
Oh, I hate having a cold. Almost over it, guys. Almost over it. This is a nice little stretch of road. Like how it all intertwines together.
think we might be able to pull off getting there before we have to rest. I think. We're only about a half hour off now, so as long as we, you know, play it smart and don't get, you know, caught up in anything, we should be all right. We'll cut out in front of this guy. Cut around these guys. We're doing a hundred. As long as we don't roll it around this corner, we'll be all right. Looks plenty gradual enough. There we go. Oof, no. We got an off ramp here, and we are gonna roll if we hit that at 100. So we're slowing ourselves down. Oh no, I'm gonna hit this guy. I just see it coming. Oh, beautiful. So gradual enough, I was able to get around him. before we have to sleep in four hours and 23 minutes before we get there. It's cutting it close, but you know, we got time to lower it even more. And now I get a truck that I think we could actually do that. So. I remember these roads. We were down here when one of our first episodes Scoot us around Dallas. Oh, come on now. You can't hit that any faster than 25? Did it? All right. Let's. 
try to knock as much off as we can now. And also make sure that we don't lose that lead. my bad I gotta stop looking at my phone took that guy right off the road didn't slow us down though and we are we've cut an hour off of our sleep time so we should be plenty well we'll, we'll get there right around the time we start yawning So we got two hours, 12 minutes left, and we got less than an hour to get there. I had hoped that we could get there before it got too dark, because I hate driving at night, but, you know, it is what it is. Ooh. Oh, no, apparently we're going to start yawning now. Right, you start yawning at two, don't you?
Yeah, it goes red at one. That's it. Either way, that's our stop right up there. Welcome to Houston. Beautiful. Texas. Texas might be a state that we end up with two in. Two garages. It's so big. You, you, hey, it's like California. Like I, I want to get probably a garage up north in California and down south just because they're so large you know oh right not hauling a short load am I that was dumb and I fucking crashed again god one of these days I will haul a load that I don't haul like a dumbass I'm going to change my truck to a swift truck. Let's go. They got me just pulling her in. Fuck it. I'm just going to skip. All right. So we bumped up to level 19, which is beautiful. We made 61,377. 2,347 experience and now we get to put something somewhere now we could do the last one a long distance that could be interesting but we haven't done anything in fragile cargo and we've only done one in just in time but you know I'm doing it all right Let's look at our job market. I'm not taking a job right now, but I want to see what's available. What is the longest distance? Oh, that, that is a long fucking haul, isn't it? Bangor to Montana. You got Maine to Montana. And you only make 45000 off of that. I made more than that just hauling from friggin' Colorado to Texas. Talking 2,484 miles. You can go from Tacoma to Alabama and make 89000 All right, let's look at price per distance. The best price per distance is also 1,000 miles. You make an 85000 hauling from... Midland, Odessa to L.A. That's not a bad haul. The Dales to Santa Fe is making you 111000 Holy shit. Let's see. Is that the best price? I think it is. No. Providence to Moab, Utah. Freaking seventy-one dollars and twenty-six cents a mile. That's got to be the best price per distance now. That must be a new one. No, no, it wasn't. Wow. Cheyenne, uh, New York to Cheyenne. 
La Mesa, Texas to Pensacola, Florida. Well, shit, we're already halfway there. What is the best one in Houston, though? Uh, best price. Yeah, this one's got us going to Camp Verde. Cheyenne. Tuscaloosa. I mean, that's that's probably the direction we want to take, is going Tuscaloosa. So, yeah, because that's... And this one got us going to Louisiana. That's not bad. It's... Yeah, it's not bad. I think Tuscaloosa is probably going to be the better option. But, yeah, we'll deal with all that later. Right now, though, we have 95000 in the bank. So, why don't we repay a loan or two? Now we have 50000 in the bank. 55,000 rather. So we'll leave this $50,000 one. They only have to make us 10,000 a day, which if we look at our driver manager, we got Victor making us 4,000, Simone making us 3,000, so that's call it 8,000 because they are almost to the next one both, and each one of them is making us almost 1,000. So Really, we're going to make about a thousand bucks a day, and we're making forty-one thousand dollars a day. So, we we've got these, you know, banks. We got we got the loans handled. Now, let's look at copy config. Full config copy. That's what I want to do. I want copy config. Full configuration copy to everybody. So that'd be three hundred and thirty six thousand ninety six dollars. All right, that's not bad. So that's that, that's a possibility that we can look towards. Simona, Simona, she's hauling yogurt. She made us five thousand eight eighty seven from Amarillo to North Plot Plate North Plate Plot Plate. I don't fucking know. And I should bring yogurt back. That's not bad. Now, I wonder if there's a mod that would allow them to not just go from their garage out and then back. Because I'd like them to take, you know, circuitous routes. But, anyways, that's all I'm going to do today. So, until I see you again, have fun.